Testing, testing, testing. <clears throat> Definitely have some lighting things to do. This is a Speedle, S P E D A L, webcam. So we'll see how this goes. It's definitely not an iPad camera, iPhone camera. Those things make you look fabulous from the start. Even in the same lighting. I guess I gotta do some adjustment. I'm trying to get <clears throat> started video capturing on the cheap. My iPhone and my iPads have always been just the basic storage capacity so they don't they don't record and store videos very well I've been able to do one or two on them and then I have to wipe all the storage off of it or the photos and videos and then I can do another one it's such a pain but I don't really want to buy another iPhone or another iPad you know, this thing's $1,000 and up. I'd rather buy <clears throat> that new M1 Apple computer that's out. But, of course, I bought another sewing machine instead. I don't know if that was... Well, whatever. So this is a $29 camera from Amazon. I'm using the iMovie software, which I noticed you can get on a PC, which I was very excited about. <clears throat> and I'm sure there's filters in here, but I've got to learn how to set them up or adjust them, whatever you call, what's that terminology? So it's kind of interesting. So this is just a test video to see. I can't believe how much that, how much light that camera's picking up. I mean, uh, how much light the camera's picking up. Let's see what happens. Hey! Well, it's better, but it's these overhead lights. See if I could get a filter. That helped a little, but it's these upper ones. Maybe I'll put switches on them. I added some lights up above and behind me. I don't know if I posted a video on that. <clears throat> so this trailer gets bright as heck now. Oh, what if I just stand like that? <laughs> so I'm working on a little project here um, for my great nephews. Let me... The only thing I'm not going to like is you can't just adjust this camera on the fly without it being all rickety. That's why I wanted this camera. So let's see if I can get... Okay. Well, that's not too bad. The only thing is, though, is this is not... They say the autofocus cameras are not good. So what this is, is it's going to be a Swiss cross twin blanket. And there's going to be two of them. <clears throat> so I have kind of worked this out through a rough pattern. Mm, Y'all can't see that, can you? Rough pattern. Well... I got some work to do. Maybe I could take a photo with the can with the iPhone and then do stuff like that. Good morning, by the way. Good morning, YouTubers. I forgot to say a, a intro, <clears throat> but basically this is three inches. These strips. I didn't want a bunch of seams, so I have eliminated you know, having to have a block and blah, blah, blah. These are five and a half inch each squares. So by the time this is all cut or sewn in and trimmed, this will be a 12 and a half inch block. 
I'm going to have six of them in each twin size quilt. And just green background and green backing. Very simple. I've got 12 of them cut out. Six in each. <clears throat> and then I'll figure out the measurements of uh, the fabric in between. So we'll see how that goes. Right now, I have kind of what I did. I don't really have, let's see. I could sew this, oh, that's what I did. I don't really have how, so the way I did this is I had these Let me take this apart. I went like this. I kind of, I kind of just figure things out. So what I did is I took along this seam. I could have just ironed these in. No, that wouldn't have worked. See, there's no seam right here for me to align these with. So this is what I did. I stuck my ruler right in the edge of that. <clears throat> And then I took a very little faint pencil and made a little ink, which will be covered up in my seam allowance. And then went like this. <clears throat> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is how I've aligned these. And now what I want to do is I like I like these pins. Although the danger with these pins, because they're thin, you know, they they go into the fabric a lot easier. They bend real easy, though. And you can't tell when you sew over these. I've sewn through them. <clears throat> Whereas these, you can feel along the presser foot when you get close. And you can pull it out. Or you can sew kind of buy it so this is what I'm doing this morning I have <clears throat> all of these to pin you know if this is one of my quilts I don't really pin a lot I like the kind of whimsical unevenness like my favorite is after I wash a quilt it kind of shrinks up a little and gets kind of wrinkly and I love that look <clears throat> a lot of people you know I've seen some people that when they piece a quilt it's flawless and it's pretty it's just not me it is pretty but you know what? My life is not perfect. And I don't claim to be perfect. Although I'd like to say I am, but... <laughs> that and I'm a Libra, so, you know, we're kind of earthy and... Just kind of get things done. So... My new friend, YouTube. I hope we're going to have a long friendship with this video capturing and sharing my life. What little there is. My four hours of life a day I get to be up. Huh. Unless I pop a bunch of pills, but then I my kidneys suffer and bleed. Huh. I know I have more of those there's one right there. Two there. Should probably order more of these, but I gotta stop spending. I've kinda gone crazy this last few months. <clears throat> Spent way more than I should have. I 
tried selling a bunch of things on Facebook. <clears throat> let's let's move this camera up a little and get real for a minute. Trying to sell stuff on Facebook or Craigslist or whatever it is, it's a pain. I've only sold one or two things in the past where someone didn't immediately try and say, <clears throat> would you take lower? How, how little would you take for it? What's the matter with people? What happened to the old days of, why well, have cash? Can I come by and see it? Can we meet somewhere? And then say, hey, would you take X amount of dollars? No, people don't do that anymore. It's really quite frustrating. I'm getting old is what it is. So finally, I, I just pulled everything off of the Facebook. I did sell one of the sewing machines to a friend of my husband's. Thank, thank you very much for that. I hope you enjoy that. It's an old brother, SE625. It has a little embroidery. It did, we embroidered a lot of stuff on it. I sewed a lot of quilts on it. It was a great little first time digital electronic sewing machine. Until I got my Bernina. My first little Bernina, which is behind me. This little Bernina 570. No, 530. It's a little 530. That's a great little machine for piecing. It's even better for piecing than the 770, because the 770 has the 9 mil. The Bernina 5 series has the 5 mil, or 530 does. I don't know about the others. <clears throat> and boy, that thing just pulls those little seams in and the quarter inch seams perfectly. So I still piece on it quite a bit, especially if I'm doing a lot of little blocks. Oh, I'll pull that baby out. I've learned a piece on the 770, you know, but that thing does other things. The embroidery on it and the fact that you can back that embroidery up if you miss a spot or set, it's amazing. So I just thought I would do a little test video, a little chat this morning. I actually slept in a little bit, Five. I think I was up at 5.50. That's late for me. So I'm, I'm thankful my body will sleep in. I did take a bunch of painkillers yesterday. That probably made a difference, but I don't like to take them too often because they just mess your innards up. So, hope you guys enjoy the little rant, the little chat, stitching. I guess I can't say the B word. I don't know. I've got to learn what I can say on here because if I ever want to get this channel monetized, I can't. <laughs> and I, I have a potty mouth. <laughs> so signing off, YouTubers. Hopefully we'll have another video up when I can get that one off my eye, pooter. I'll learn this stuff. I can do it. Take care. <laughs>